Hi all and welcome to another video. I'm your host Kosashu and I want to show you something real quick. Check this out. <laughs> that was so so fun. Okay, let's first check what we get in the chest. Because if you didn't know, this chest can drop legendary gear. It's the only chest in the game, as far as I know, that can drop legendary gear. Now let me show you how exactly I've done it. So for this build, it's all uh, centered around the uh, blighted round. So we just killed Goss in about oh, 15 seconds or so. We are level 7, which is max for the demo. We are in world tier 5, which is max for the demo. And for that, we're using an automatic sniper rifle. The important thing here is to have critical damage on it. And then for our hat, we just want either firepower or anomaly power. In my case, I've got anomaly power. For the chest, I've got health, unfortunately, but it does give me the health shot, which increases the turret's uh, base damage based on my status power. For the trousers, we're getting anomaly power as our bonus, but what's important, we get spare mag, which gives us another magazine of blighted rounds, which increases our damage and critical damage while using blighted rounds. For the gloves, we are using uh, we get we're getting bonus firepower and we're using pain launcher with advanced rockets, which makes each rocket to deal 14 more damage. And for our boots, we are using uh, critical analysis, which increases critical damage by 30%, and we're also getting an anomaly power boost. So the build is pretty simple. There are no legendary in this build. Legendaries in this build, and you can do you can do this probably straight after finishing the game at about level 5 or so. All these gloves and uh, armor and weapons, most of them have dropped from the chest just at the at the end here. So you are guaranteed a rare item every time you kill the boss. Now let me show you how you actually get to do this and farm this boss. So what you need to do every time is return to lobby. Obviously first set up your character so you have all the correct items, you go to select story point, confront the altar at the tower, you confirm it, go continue game. There is a bit of downside because of the loading times, but uh, compared to the other farming methods, this one seems the simplest. You are very unlikely to die, while on Terra Inferno and the others, at some point, uh, if you don't pay attention, you could end up dead Jakob, before you manage to kill the captains in. and all what the marksmen. So as soon as you spawn in, you rush up, make sure you swap to your sniper rifle if you haven't done so. He's a goddamn electro freak. You mean he lights up light Straight to the boss encounter. Skip the cutscene, enable blighted rounds, put down your turret, start lighting his head. Second magazine, hold the head. Your pain launcher, and that's it. He's dead again. That's how easy it is. It's unbelievable. I still remember how much I struggled with my devastator. So yeah, the text of master can destroy the ghost boss in 15 seconds or so. And another rare item. And return to lobby. Rinse and repeat. So I don't know how long that took, but probably about a minute. I think this is a brilliant way to farm legendary solo. It's pretty safe, you've got literally no way of dying with the Technomancer. It's fast, each round takes about a minute, a minute and a bit. And you will get yourself probably all the rare items that it can drop from that chest and possibly some legendaries. Don't forget that we are still running our giveaway, there's only 7 days left, so get yourself in there to get a chance to win all of the prizes. Uh, thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, please consider commenting, pressing the like button and subscribing. And as always, have a nice day.